When it's tuning, it sounds pretty bizarre. It's uh, basically almost random uh, notes all sounding uh, 15 at a time, but they're constantly replacing each other, so it has a very eerie sound, uh, almost like a made-for-TV movie or something, and so uh, don't be scared of that. I'm uh, Don Gilmore. I'm professionally a mechanical engineer. I've been in industry for about 36 years do doing automatic machinery and automatic machinery controls. I also studied piano at uh, UMKC Conservatory of Music. So later in life, I decided to put the two together and come up with a way to make a piano tune itself. In the beginning, I came up with all sorts of crazy ideas, and of course, the first thing you think of is to turn the pins with uh, motors, but you instantly figure out that that's going to be extremely expensive, very complicated, and so I figured there must be a better way, and I started coming up with all sorts of crazy ideas, trying to think out of the box, thinking about it, and I thought, well, maybe if I passed uh, some kind of crazy electrical current through the string, I could get some kind of a crazy magnetic effect. I almost threw the idea out thinking, well, I can't do that because then the string will get hot. And then uh, the, the light went off and I said, well, I just solved the problem. Because if the string gets hot, it expands. If it expands, it goes slack, and so it change, changes the pitch. Basically, the way it works is there's really only two working parts of it. There is what we call a sustainer, and then there's a tuning coil. The sustainer is a small circuit that hangs over the string. It uh, looks at the vibration of the string, actually optically. It's reflecting infrared light off of it, and the reflected light when the string wiggles uh, causes a wave, and then we use that to pump back into a uh, electromagnetic coil that will make the string vibrate in a, in a loop resonantly, which just is a convenience so that you don't have to play all the notes in the piano, and it can sustain the, the note at a particular volume so that every time you tune it, it's at that same exact volume. And when you play it, it's decaying away and it, and it changes in pitch and things like that, so now you have a very steady thing you can measure. The signal that uh, comes back that from the uh, optical sensor is amplified and then measured, and the, each of the sustainers is actually an autonomous circuit. It has its own little processor. Every note in the piano has one of these, and it has three sensors to look at the three unison strings uh, of the note, measures it, and then it it uh, communicates with the master circuit through just a serial cable that goes to all of them. So you don't have a whole lot of cables. You just got one ribbon cable that's just a few wires. I'm often asked a question, uh, how long does it stay in tune? Basically, when you turn it on, when you set, tell it to tune, it goes through a tuning for that day. Literally, you get a brand new tuning for that gate, puts it into perfect tune, then it's held at that temperature with electricity while you play. So it has to be on while you're playing. And for as long as you play, it doesn't take very much electricity. And then when you're done, you turn it off and it goes back out of tune. I get people that complain that uh, there is, it's going to be this clinical uh, uh, theoretical tuning, and they're worried that it's, that it's going to be cold and, and uh, not be a true tuning. But in reality, what happens is your, your tuner himself, the one, your favorite tuner, comes in, tunes the piano, and we store that tuning. And so we get a, a real human tuning that you get to use every time you turn the system on. We estimate that by the time we uh, get volume going that it's going to cost somewhere around the eight or $900 range. I've played piano all my life. I always like having a piano in tune because it's, it sounds so good and you, you can't do anything but play the rest of that day because it, it sounds so good. And I was always so disappointed that after a few weeks that it starts going out of tune. The fact that I, I went into engineering school and, I, and I'm a pianist, I put the two together and I decided uh, I'm gonna make this a real deal. And I just know that piano players are gonna love it because it's a whole new freedom.